I'm just killing time This whole time Play this at my funeral I'm swimming through fishing around for the truth. This is living proof. Now I'll swim, but I What's going on YouTube? Here with the praise. This is gonna be a raw training video. So it's a fresh week back in the gym. I'm supposed to be hitting M rap sets again today, as many reps as possible with my max weight. So you're gonna see how the work routine goes. I'm gonna tell you right now, I wasn't feeling hundred percent when I went into this workout. I was a little tired, didn't get so much great sleep the night before. And uh, I was just actually feeling a little bit burnt out from the sessions that I've been doing over the last couple weeks, right? And these are signs that, you know, your body might need a little bit of a deload week. I haven't taken a real deload week since September, so it's been almost two months now where I've been training pretty hard again. So, you saw the first bodyweight warm-up set, just did a set a few pull-ups, muscle-ups. Now we're going to get into one weighted warm-up set. 35 pounds times 5 reps, and I knew as soon as I got into this warm-up set here with the 35 pounds, it was feeling heavier than it normally should, right? 35 pounds should be a breeze, I should be pulling chest to bar with the 35, and it just felt a little heavy, so I'm like, alright, my nervous system is probably a little bit fried today, or, you know, just a little bit tired, so I didn't expect to hit PRs, so we were supposed to hit an AM rep of 87 and a half pounds today, I hit 85 pounds the previous week for 5 reps, and I hit this 87 and a half pounds for 3 sets of 3 last week. Here you're going to see I barely caught three reps on my first set. I caught two and a half reps. Disappointed, I said, you know what? I'm already feeling not 100%. Let's just go heavier. So set two, I went to 90 pounds. I said, let's do pyramid, three, two, one. So I wanted 90 for two. So here's set two, I went for 90 pounds. Caught the two reps. I felt like my nervous system was firing up a little bit after that first set of 87 and a half. And then I said, all right, so since we're doing a pyramid, three, two, one, we're going to go up again. So the final set here, 92 and a half pounds. I pull it for one rep, and I pull it pretty decently here, better than my 87 and a half pound pull, I feel. And uh, that was just the nervous system warming up. And you're gonna see, I try to get another rep here, but nowhere near, I even get halfway through, so. So this is just a reminder, guys. You can't go to the gym and expect to hit a PR every single session, right? Some days you're gonna go and you're gonna PR on everything. Some days you're gonna PR on one exercise. Some days you're gonna PR on two exercises. But there's some days when you're going to go in and nothing's going to work out, right? But those are the days you got to push through because when you go back and hit those weights again, when you're feeling better, you're going to crush those weights. So for dips today, I actually did relatively well. I always do well on dips. So we did 155 pounds last week on the AMRAP for seven. We're going to 157 and a half today. And I hit a pretty solid four reps here. And i also pretty sure I hit dips first last week. And I'm hitting them second here. So 157.5. On a new dip stand that I've been utilizing, an easier setup, thicker bars, I actually prefer them. So I catch a nice four good reps at lockout, didn't even want to try for the fifth, didn't want to fry myself out. For the dips here, I decided to do one back off set, so two hard sets here. Remember guys, you got to be training with intensity in order to produce strength and muscle growth, right? So that's what I mean when I say hard sets. These are hard working sets. If I would have did three, I probably would have teetered into the overtraining aspect, right? So here's the second set, and I dropped the weight down here to 135 pounds. And I said, I'm just going to go for, again, an am wrap on this, and then I'm just going to call it a wrap for the dips, right? Because too many sets of going to failure is going to fry the nervous system, right? So we lighten the load here. We pretty much went to failure on the am wrap set at 157.5. So here I call it at six reps. I probably could have pushed out an extra rep or two, but again, I didn't want to fry the nervous system or push out failure at the end of this set. All right, guys, up next, we have the overhead press. Now, typically, you know, I like to train this movement for strength, but because we train dips for strength and pulls for strength, I couldn't max out on the overhead press. Right now, my max load that I've been working with is 130 pounds. I've hit, I did a five by three, then I did a four by four, and now I have to hit a three by five at 130 pounds. I didn't want to max out, didn't want to touch that weight today, I wanted to keep it a little lower. So I said, I'm just going to do one set of overhead press. I lowered the weight to 120 pounds and went for volume. I wanted to hit eight reps and I caught the eight reps. You can see this eighth rep here was definitely a struggle. Any more would have been failure. So basically went to failure on this set, which is all you need to do to train the muscle correctly, right? That's how you stimulate muscle growth. All right, guys, moving on to legs. Like always, this is the full body workout here. 
Now, again, guys, I cannot have hit squats today and been productive at squats after doing all that volume previously and all those failure sets that I hit, right? Going to be taxing on the nervous system. So I've been using, utilizing this really pretty unique uh, method of training my legs lately, which is very, very low intensity on the nervous system, but you could make this set really hard. So here I'm doing just 10 reps. I'm doing a 10 to 1 pyramid scheme, but each rep we're going to be holding 10 seconds, set rep 1, 9 seconds, rep 2, 8 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it's going to be 55 seconds of isometric holds for a total of 10 reps. This set takes very long. It's going to be a full set is taking close to about almost two minutes. I'm doing slow controlled negatives and slow controlled concentric reps until I get to that isometric position. This is really good if you have any type of knee pain too. It's going to really help strengthen and stabilize the knee. Low impact on the joints, low impact on the nervous system. Just straight isolation work here for the quads. So again, this is going to really build a lot of blood, really going to pump a lot of fluid into the legs. You're going to feel a lot of that lactic acid burn. That's what you want. Relatively lightweight here. I'm only doing 120 pounds. Each time I do this, I'm just going up 10 pounds each session, right? So this is only the third time I've done this exercise. I did it for 100 pounds a few like a week ago. Then I did it for 110 a few days ago, and now 120 pounds. So 55 total seconds, progressive overload every time. And you can see, guys, it's really going to blow the legs up, helps build that shape, and it really helps you get that mind-muscle connection. I'm focusing on trying to make the deepest part of my quads contract each repetition there. All right, next up for legs, we're going to do some single leg isolation work. So that previous exercise, those leg extension iso, iso holds, they are more of a pre-exhaust. And they're, like I said, they're just going to pump a lot of blood, building up a lot of time under tension, really helping me focus on mind muscle connection to an area of the leg that I want to train. So here we're going into ISO, single leg isolation work, and just single leg leg press. Again, low impact on the nervous system, but again, it allows you to load the weight up and control it relatively easy. Not easy, you want it to be hard working sets, but it's again, easy meaning low impact, less stressful on the nervous system. So here we're going. 10 reps each leg, just one set, almost going to failure each leg though. Really trying to control the motion, not trying to bounce out of the lowest portion of the motion, really trying to push, push my foot into the machine, really elevate my body through the quad, mind-muscle connection on here too guys, more bodybuilding principles. So 10 reps on each leg, and that's really all we're going to do for the quads here. We got more leg work after this, and again guys, Lately, I've been really focusing on when I'm doing the full body, scaling down the intensity because initially when I got on the program, it was full body, weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, overhead press, and squatting and always trying to PR, right? Always trying to push it and push it and push it. And eventually, you know, it's just going to lead to burnout, right? You can't push it, especially in those big compound lifts all the time. So I've been playing around with the split a little bit here, guys, lately, as you guys can see. Some workouts I'm only doing pull and push, and I'm, le I'm leaving out the overhead pressing and squatting. Some workouts I'm just doing squatting, overhead pressing. It all depends on actually how I'm feeling for the day. But the movements and the exercises stay the same. The intensities are what vary. So second exercise here for legs. This is all we did for legs, the leg extensions, and then the single leg leg press. Just one set of this. Two, uh, 10 reps each leg. Very nice and controlled repetitions. One more leg exercise after this. Let's get it. All right, guys. Now we're going to move on to the GOAT bodyweight leg exercise of all time. This is going to be a glute ham raise or a Nordic curl. Um, it has a couple different names. I call it both glute ham raise and a, or a Nordic curl. This is going to really isolate the posterior chain, specifically the glutes and the hamstrings. Very, very difficult movement. I'm doing a full GHR here, guys. No hinge in my hips. And all I did was three sets of three reps, trying to eliminate the bounce at the bottom of the motion, really trying to control it. Long breaks here. Try this exercise out, guys. It's going to light your hamstrings up. All right, guys. Last exercise of the day. We're going to do some seated calf extensions. Again, machines, low impact, low stress on the nervous system. And I want you guys to recognize 
the cadence or the tempo that I'm doing these exercises at. Very, very slow and controlled, really focusing on my muscle connection. Here I'm going to speed the clip up a little bit just so you guys don't see me hitting 25 reps extremely slow. But 25 reps, two sets of the leg extension or the calf extension here, 180 pounds, and that's a wrap for the routine, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stop rushing through your reps. Work on that mind-muscle connection. That's how you're going to build muscle. That's how you're going to understand how to use the muscle correctly. And guys, lately I've been really enjoying bodybuilding. Comment down below if you guys want to see me go into a bodybuilding split. It may not be all calisthenics. It might be machine work, but let me know down below, guys. Like always, peace out. Barn Sad out. story, I ain't here for a symphony. No sympathy. When I was on the bench, you wouldn't sit with me. Now I'm on the court and I'm balling. My time's coming.